Okay, here is an Alex problem called Understanding How Average Molecular Speeds Scales with Temperature and Molar Mass. Okay, so the question itself is useful. It says that we want to understand how average molecular speed scales with temperature and molar mass. So all we need to know is the temperature and the molar mass of each gas. So I'm going to write out here the individual gases that we're talking about. So we have one mole of neon gas. We have 2.7 moles of helium gas. We have 1.1 moles of xenon gas. And then finally, we have 2.5 moles of helium gas. The important factors in determining how fast gas molecules move on average is the temperature and the molar mass. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write down our temperatures. So it's negative 24, negative 10, negative 24, and negative 24. So three of them have the identical temperature. We also have molar mass. So let's do that one. Those are the two factors that determine the speed, the average speed of gas molecules. The molar mass of neon, roughly speaking, is about 20. It's 20.18. Um, helium is a very light gas. It's around 4. Xenon is much heavier. I'm going to write down, I, I actually don't recall what it is, but it's in the hundreds. It's probably around 131. We don't actually need it precisely for this problem. And then finally, finally helium is 4. In fact, since I'm really just giving a rough estimate of xenon, Let's just do a rough estimate of all of them. Okay, We don't need it so precisely for this experiment. So 20, 4, 131, and 4. Okay, So all we really need to do here is check to see which one has the highest temperature. The highest temperature is for the helium, right? This one has the highest temperature. And what we would claim is that the average speed of a collection of gas particles is proportional to the square root of the temperature. So as the temperature increases, the average speed increases. Since helium has the highest temperature, it's going to be the fastest. Okay. Now, the other three gases, they all have the same temperature, and these are lower temperatures. They're more negative, so they're lower temperatures. So we cannot determine the ranking of those three with respect to each other unless we know something else about them, which is their molar, molar mass. So the average speed is also proportional to 1 divided by the molar mass. And so as the molar mass goes up, the average speed goes down. You can try that yourself just by putting in different numbers for molar mass. If you put in 4, you'll have the square root of 1 over 4. If you put in 131, you'll have the square root of 131. The square root of, of 1 divided by 131 is smaller than the square root of 1 divided by 4. Okay, So what that means is the heavier they are, the slower they go, the lighter they are, the faster they go. 
Okay, this one is the heaviest. So that means it's going to be the slowest. This one up here at the top, the neon, is sort of in between, right? This one is sort of middle. It's a middle weight. It's not the lightest or the heaviest, so it's in between. And then the, um, the helium over here, that one is the lightest. If it's the lightest, it's going to be the fastest of the ones at the same temperature. Okay, so this one will be the second fastest. Remember, the temperature is what we looked at first. The one with the highest temperature is the fastest. The one with the lowest temperature is going to be the slowest, but since they're all moving at the same temperature, they all have the same temperature, I should say, then we look at the weight. So what I would recommend when you do these sorts of problems is, one, look at the temperature. If you get a tie then look at the weight. Now when I say weight, what we mean is molar mass. Because remember, molar mass is essentially a measure of how heavy something is. Okay, And of course, you have these two here, these two relationships here. We could combine them if this helps. It's proportional to the square root of the temperature over the molar mass. But it might be useful for you to look at them individually. So look at the temperature first, then look at the molar mass, and then you can make your rankings here. So our finally, let's, let's, we have to read very carefully. What does it say? It says select one to the one that has the slowest. Well, the heaviest one was the slowest one here. So that means we're going to rank this as one. And then it says... Select two to the sample in which the atoms or molecules have the next slowest speed, okay? Well, the next slowest speed would be this one right here, the neon, because again, it's at the lower temperature and it has a lighter molar mass than xenon does for sure, but it's still heavier than helium. So then the third one would be helium because it's, again, at the same temperature, but it is lighter. So it's ranked three, and then the fastest, according to the way this question is worded, would be the helium at a higher temperature, negative 10 degrees C. Okay, so just so you can kind of see what we mean is slower to faster. The fastest one would be the number four, and the slowest one would be the number one, followed by two, followed by three, followed by four. Okay, so there you go.